Calvin Jones here with Park Tool Company at beautiful Sea Otter. The hills above Monterey, the whales in the ocean, and bikes that need fixing. What do we got, Truman? We got Ray Morrison's bike with Live Cycling, and uh, we're gonna be throwing on a new front rotor for her. And? And some new brake pads. So we're right. gonna be uh, bedding those in so she's got nice consistent braking from the get-go, so she can have predictable, nice, safe race. Right from the Hopefully come start. away with a W. There we go. This process that we're calling bedding, it's gonna be using heat through the friction of our braking to, to transfer some of the material to fill the pores of this rotor and remove any asperities of the pad, a break-in period. But why not just go ride the bike? What we're gonna be doing here is doing it in a controlled way. We don't want to transfer too much. We don't want to clog all the rough surface of the rotor. We want to have a nice even coating to clog the pores, to get more consistent braking. But we don't want too much. We don't want that glazing. We don't want to cook the rotor. We want it to be just right. Yeah. We have the rotor on, it's all clean, and we found a nice long section of road. We can do repeated slowing sections. And how's it gonna go, Truman? We're gonna do it with one brake at a time. So we're gonna be doing the front brake here. We're gonna kinda get up to speed, go down, gradually going down to about walking speed, get back up to speed, and then get back down gradually to about walking speed, and get as many in as you can until you get to the bottom, never locking up the brake. When you lock it up, it uh, transfers a lot over in one spot. So that's not stopping. We're not actually gonna come to a dead stop. Just go down to walking speed. And when I get to the end, I'm gonna turn, not stop all the way, I'm gonna turn around and climb back up. The rotor's gonna get some time to cool down. <laughs> Sometimes you don't have the luxury of that nice long descent like we did up on the hill where we can get up that energy. Sometimes we're just stuck on a flat parking lot, but we're gonna try and accelerate that with some nice water. So what the water is gonna do, it's gonna basically create a slurry on the rotor, in between the rotor and the pads. And think about it like a whetstone. If you're sharpening something on a whetstone, you're really using the slurry to actually uh, abrade the surfaces. Let's get going, Truman. So that's the basic bedding process, getting our rotors bedded with the pads. Remember, multiple slowing sessions and no lockup. Thanks for bedding with us. See you next time. For us, these videos have been great fun to make. But more importantly for you, we hope they've done you some good. Now if they have, tell your friends. Give us a thumbs up. Better yet, stay a step ahead of your friends and subscribe. See you next time.